Hi everyone, my name is Rahul Randiwe and today we are going to learn how to check automated backups in Azure SQL Manage instance. Azure SQL Manage instance stores backup information in the MSDB database. As you are aware, database backup are essential part of any business continuity and disaster recovery strategy because they protect your data from accidental corruption or deletion. Azure SQL Manage instance automatically creates the database backups that are kept for the duration of the configured retention period from 1 to 35 days for active databases. In the Azure portal, under the data management, you can see the option backups and in that you can find the retention policies. You can update the point-in-time backup to be kept up to 35 days. With the point-in-time restore functionality, it is possible to restore your database at any given point in time within the retention period. We can view an automated backups history through T-SQL command. Azure SQL Manage Instance creates full backup every week, differential backups every 12 to 24 hours, transactions log backups every 5 to 10 minutes. Here are the commands to view the backup history. The first command to get the full backup details. Here I'm passing the parameter as a D for full. As you can see, a fully automated backup occurs for my database every week. Second command to get the differential backup details for my database. Here I'm passing the parameter as I for differential. As you can observe, differential backup for my database occurs every 12 hours. And the last command to get the transactions log backup details. Here I'm passing the parameter as L for log. And you can see the log backup for my database happening at regular interval. You can combine all the commands and execute to get the complete details of differential, full, and the log backups. Please note, the first full backups is scheduled immediately after a database is created. It is usually completes within a minute but it can take longer when the database is of a significant size. After the first full backup, all the further backups are scheduled automatically and managed silently in the background. The exact timing of all the database backups is determined by SQL databases service as it balances the overall system workload. You cannot change or disable the backup jobs. In order to support restore to any point in time within the retention period, backup service retain the entire backup chain between each full backup until they are no longer needed. This means that we are likely storing multiple backup chains based on the configured retention period of the database. To perform point in time restore of the database, you can perform from the portal. Click on the restore and it will navigate you to the restore page. In the data source page, you can select the restore point date and time to restore the database. I hope this information is helpful. Thanks for watching.